What's going on everybody, Scott here with a quick video giving you some basic tips to get ready for the madness that is Overwatch. Now before I get into the tips, I would say try the tutorial, try the training. I know as a gamer, you don't really wanna try anything. You wanna jump in, figure it out on your own, but you will learn the basic movements and the weapons. It'll save yourself and your teammates some frustration. And while you're in training, it'll also give you a chance to check out the maps, look for health packs and positions you can use in the game. Playtime will open these up to you, but it's always better to go in with a little knowledge. And if you're a veteran FPS, it'll at least let you figure out how the characters work and everything. Uh, but if you're completely new to the FPS genre, it's a definite step in the right direction. It'll let you aim a little bit and stuff like that. You can actually just kill bots, shoot bots, figure out how the guns work and everything. So I would definitely suggest that. Okay, so you've been waiting and waiting. You're ready to play some Tracer. The cavalry's here, but there's two Tracers on your team already. What do you do? Choose wisely. I know that you'll probably want to main a hero and get good, but Overwatch is such a team-based game that the composition plays a huge part in if you'll win or lose the match. Different maps and situations let certain heroes shine, so why spend all your time playing one hero when you can change up and be the real MVP your team deserves? Picking a hero from each subset that you're interested in is a win-win for you and the team in the long run. Now, if you want to make a good impression on your teammates, playing a tank or support without someone begging is a great way to do it. But ultimately, you paid for the game, play however makes you happy, but please know there's never an excuse to have three snipers on a team, especially offense, ever. So like I said, Overwatch is a team-based game and it's specifically designed to encourage teamwork while going after or defending the objective. Here's a few things to keep in mind. Don't attack enemies alone, this isn't Call of Duty, and you're more than likely just going to get killed really fast. Now if you're a flanker like Tracer, Genji, or Reaper, I'd suggest getting in, causing some disruption, or putting some time into the point, and getting out until the cavalry arrives. Yes, that means you too, Tracer. A flanker is a great way to keep the enemy team from focusing on the point and can be the weight that tips the scales between a win and a loss. In Overwatch, the payload moves faster depending on the amount of heroes standing near it, with the maximum speed coming from three heroes doing the pushing. If you get pulled away from the cart to deal with an enemy, get back on ASAP. It'll help the team with the cart, and on top of that it will replenish any health that you may have lost in the battle. So making a habit of staying near the cart helps trigger one of the best friends you can have in the game, Overtime. The battle isn't over until time runs out and no one is on the payload or control point, so watch the clock and push accordingly. So if you see your point being taken, hop on to delay it until your teammates get there. If you have to sacrifice yourself to do it, so be it. Respawn times come quick and it's for the greater good. And yes, that means you too, Widow. Jump down, you're gonna die and mess up your 10 kill streak, but do it. It's for the team. Now the last tips I'm gonna give are pretty self-explanatory, but helpful. Watch the kill cam. It'll show how you were killed, so you have an idea on what to watch out for later, as well as give you an idea of the enemy's alt meter so you can warn the team. The last thing you want is a Reaper Death Blossom during overtime. If you're not familiar with how to turn on the kill cam, I will put it in the description box below. Last but not least, communicate. Communicate with your team it is a team-based game. Now, if you run into a toxic player or something, you can mute and block them and then move on. Don't let it shake you. Now, if they're extremely bad, which can vary from person to person, uh, you can definitely report them. And Blizzard, they're taking it very seriously in this game. People will be chat banned or possibly banned in general. I would say use discretion. I, I have very thick skin, so I don't let stuff like that usually get to me. But there are some pretty freaking toxic people out there. So it's up to you on how you would like to handle that. Remember, you're just starting out, so don't beat yourself up if you're not MLG Pro right off the bat. Take it in stride and you will get better in time. So those are the big things to focus on when you're just starting out. In the meantime, welcome to Overwatch, good luck and have fun. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Overwatch tips in the future. Till next time, take it easy and peace.